What's up, everybody? Jay Leone here again today. Today, not a review. Today is a instructional video, I guess. Uh, I'm going to show you how to rebuild the uh, sub tank heads, the stock OCC heads. I'm going to tear that apart and build one on camera to the best I can. Hope it comes out good. Um, yeah, we're not going to do no intro or anything like that. No music, nothing. Just simple, straight to the point. Try to keep this under 20 minutes. Actually, I would like to keep it under. 15 minutes, but I doubt that's ever going to happen because I'm not good at doing that. I talk too much, and I'm already talking too much. So, um, yeah, you, I already shot the up-close segment, and we're going to go to that next, and we're going to show you how to do it, and we're going to come back, talk a little bit about it. Uh, we'll talk about what's coming up next at the end of the video, and uh, that will be this video for you guys. So let's not waste any time, and let's get to the rebuilding of the stock OCC coil heads. On the um, Ganger sub tank, by the way. Alright, so I got all the stuff here that I'm going to need to rebuild this sub tank head here. I believe I've got everything. You're going to need a pair of clippers to clip the wire. You're going to need a two and a half, I believe it's a two and a half millimeter drill bit, uh, drill bit, uh, screwdriver. You need something that's going to fit snugly into the hole here. So it's just going to fit all, and it's going to go all the way through just like so. So it's going to fit nice and snug. There's barely any play in that, just a little bit, so. Want something that's going to fit through the hole here. Um, got some 26 gauge Canthal wire. Uh, that's about a mm, foot or so of it. Scissors, which I don't need. Oh, for the cotton, that's right. And uh, a sheet of Japanese cotton. And obviously your juice and stuff like that. So let's start with. Let me get this mouse out of my way. Alright. Need the head here. I've already taken the coal out, as you can see. You can see all the way through there. See nothing in there. I'll start by disassembling it. Take this piece here. Just kind of jam your nail under there and it'll pop right out. That little guy aside. Then you're going to take your grommet out here. Same thing, just pull it right out. And <laughs> that's the head disassembled. Very, very simple, very easy. It's nice and shallow. You can see there's like these little. I don't know, grooves here, so, on the base here. It's like two grooves. I'm assuming that's where the wire is going to go into, so we're going to try that. Well, not assuming, that's where the wire was, but that's where I'm going to try to put the wire in. Alright, so we get some wire. Try this stuff out of the way. And let's try to build on camera. I'm going to go with six wraps. Um, just a regular coil, not even a micro coil. And I know I have way too much wire, but that's no big deal. Do six wraps. And six. Hope that was on camera, because I wasn't looking at the camera at all. And I'm just going to take my one lead and unwrap it. Just like that. And yes, I have way too much wire. See the coil there? It's horrible. I'm just going to scrunch it together, try to fix some of these up. I'll fix it up a little bit here as we go. Just space them a little bit better. There we go. Something like that. Looks pretty good. So you got that done. I'm going to trim some of this wire just because it is a little too much. So now that you got your coil here, I'm going to take the coil and basically insert her into the pro tank shell here. And pro tank. <laughs> Um, sub tank coil shell here. Just take your coils, kind of line them up together. Just insert her. And you want it to go all the way through the bottom. So those leads are coming right through the bottom here. I'm just going to pull your coil through. And we'll give you a better look at what I'm doing here in a second. And now what you're going to want to do, you got your leads coming out the bottom, is take this screwdriver, two and a half millimeter bit, whatever you decide to use that you use to wrap it, and basically insert it in here and what we're gonna want to do is actually insert it through the coil on here as you can see the coil is on the screwdriver here it's inserted through one side out the other and the coils on there so it's gonna keep our coil in place the coil will not move now it's right where we want it to be so now you keep that in there and grab your first piece here, which is the uh, rubber grommet. 
and insert it over one lead, just like so. So it's over the one lead. And basically, jam that guy in there. Boom, like so. So that's in there just like that. And you can see kind of what I did there as I pulled that wire back and it's kind of, well, not really actually, but it's kind of just sitting in that little notch there, just like that. Then you have this lead coming out here. With that lead, basically take it and fold it also. Fold it back just like that and then stick your final piece in there. Boom, like so, make sure it's nice and tight. Now we can see our coil. Come on, coil. You see the coil? It's hard to get my camera to focus in there. There's the coil. Everything's still in there. Everything's attached. Saw so how I did that. Nice and easy. And then, what we're going to do, and this part's very important. I had a lot of issues with this. You have to clip these wires pretty much right up as close as possible. Because if they're sticking out just a hair, you're going to have an issue. So this is what the nail clippers are for here. I'm just going to snip these as close as I can. Boom. There's one lead. And then the same thing on the other side. Boom. Alright. So all the leads are snipped coil still in there and now we can take our bit out carefully and gently and you can still see that coil is right there you can see a little bit of the coil from here that's perfectly aligned with these holes got all my leads nicely trimmed you don't want to push that down actually that came out a little bit but yeah that's that portion now let's grab a sheet of cotton Japanese cotton is what I'm using it's just easier for me and you're gonna cut a strip now of this stuff. Um, Size-wise, I'm horrible with this. I just learned from doing it a couple times how to do it. Just not too much. I'm just gonna. So I got a sheet like that. Just a little strip like that. It's not much of it. You can see it's a very little bit. I'm just gonna twist my one end like I usually do. And now, depending on the juice you're using, you're gonna to want to use different sizes of this. The thicker the juice you want, you're using, the less cotton you want to use. The thinner the juice, the more cotton you want to use. So mine's a high VG, so we're going with a little bit less than what some other people might do. You can see it's coming through, and it has come through the other end. So just grab that and do it slowly, because you don't want to mess that coil up too much. Give it a little turn if you have to, to get it in there. And you can see, maybe, there you go, you can kind of see that coil in there, and the cotton's through it, you know what, let me turn this light on, I'm an idiot, I'm going help a little bit, so there you go, cotton's through both ends, and now you're just going to trim this, so that's where my scissors are. I'm going to trim this pretty close to the wall. Not all the way, though. I'm going to leave a little bit. Like that. And same thing on this side here. Boom. Get out of the way. That out of the way. Stupid scissors. Alright, so you can see I have just a little bit hanging out of each side. Um, just fluff this out a little bit, actually, so it's not can't compacted. Give it a little fluff. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, because I'm not paying attention. Just fluffer, fluffer, fluffy cotton, fluffy cotton. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. That's the coil, rebuilt and all. Let's put a little drop of juice here. We're gonna get some of this saturated. Nicely. 
Same thing on this side, just saturating this area. Let make sure it's nice and saturated. Boom. And then take a few drops and just drop it in the top here onto the coil. Put about four drops in there. Fully saturated, and that's it. That's how you rebuild her. Um, let's put her in the tank and we'll talk about it a little bit. So that's how you rebuild it. It's not too bad, really, to be honest with you. Uh, it might take a little practice. The hardest part is getting that um, cotton, the right amount of cotton in there. So if you put too much cotton, you end up just not wicking well at all, which is what I found. It just dries really quick. If you put the right amount of cotton, less is more almost in these tanks. Um, so less is more. If you think it's too much, it probably is too much. Less is more, and that will work fine. Now the build that I just built is uh, I'm not going to show up on camera because this camera doesn't pick up the screen. It's a 0.7 ohm build, uh, rocking it at 22 watts, which is 4.1 volts on the Segelli 150. And I got my Deadly Sin from Good Life Vapor in here, which is one of my favorite juices. And it, it, it vapes as good as the as, uh, ones that come with it. I mean, doing it this way, 26 gauge. I think I did six wraps in the video, uh, 0.7. So you can probably take a wrap out to make it down to 0.5. If you probably did five wraps of it. You'd probably get a 0 0.5, 0 0.6 ohm coil in there if you want to go a little bit lower. Um, something I did not mention in the up close segment. I'm going to take this off real quick and let me mention this because it's very, 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 very important. And I'll probably put an annu annotation in there. Well, those two very important things, actually, that I didn't mention while it's in there. A, don't dry fire your cotton. Common sense. You'll burn your cotton, you'll burn your coil, you're going to start all over. So, the other thing is when you put your coil in there, you know, as we're builders, we're knack to firing that coil, letting it glow a little bit, getting it nice and hot, and fixing it up and all that. Do not, do not do that. Do not, let me get some co uh, cotton. Let me get a napkin here so I can wipe this. All right. So put your coil in, wick it up, juice it, and then fire. Do not fire it even without cotton in it until it's all ready to go. Uh, if you do, you will burn or char or ruin these this rubber insulator here. It will get ruined if you fire it without juice, period. So not only do not... Do not dry fire your cotton. Do not fire this period until it's all wicked and juiced and ready to go. You cannot stress that enough. You will ruin that little head there. The other thing is, if you don't clip your wires really, really close, I mean, to the T, you're not going to be able to see it here because we did it up close, but it will not fit into this base. You'll know if you have too much wire. It will kind of just struggle to get in. It'll just sit on here. If you do it right, it should just go boom and right on. No problems whatsoever. If it doesn't, that means you have leads sticking out too much. Go back, trim that lead a little bit better, and you'll be fine. If you don't, if you do jam it in there with that lead hanging out, you're just going to get a short, and it's not going to work right. So that's very important. But besides those two things, it's it's not very complicated. You know, it's like rebuilding a uh, pro tank coil back in the day. A little bit more work because you got to get this guy into the head and hold the coil while you tighten it down. But for you experienced people out there, you're not going to have an issue doing this whatsoever. Flavor and everything is still as good as the original clothes and whatnot. The vapor is the same. Yeah, it's, it's good. I mean, I just figured I'd throw this video out there so if whoever wants to rebuild it, here's a little step-by-step -step on how to. If you have any questions, please let me know because um, I don't know if I left things out. I could have because it's early in the morning here. Uh, so I had a day off because the weather it's bad. That's why I'm in my hoodie. It's snowing, it's freezing, and it's still snowing. So I'm just chilling at home, having a nice day to myself. Anyway, so um, we'll make get on this real quick. That that's it. That's it. that's it with this video. Um, next week we're either gonna I don't know what I'm gonna do next. I just want to let you know I got the cur curl core. <laughs> say that fast. Curl coiler clone from Tobacco, which is one of those coiling tools. Tobacco, I guess, cloned the original that was uh, very expensive, very hard to get your hands on. Um, it's just one of many. There's many coil jigs now out there. 
This is one that I found from each city. I'm going to be looking at that. I think I might do that next week before we get into the other stuff. Because I'm going to be doing two RBAs, one the Marquis cl Marquis clone, and then one being the Derringer clone. And then we're going to get to the iStick 50 watt. I think I might do Kuro Coiler clone, um, Marquis 50 watt, uh, Derringer. Just to kind of give a nice mix this month. And those will probably be the reviews for this month coming up here. So I'm probably going to do that Kuro, Kuro Coiler clone next week. Um, so we can use that in our RD RBA, RDA <laughs> reviews next week. Man, I can't talk. I'm going to have a vape, and then I'm going to send you guys off, and we'll see you very shortly next week. Today's only Thursday, so the next video might be coming a little sooner because it's another short video. When I have short videos, I like to do them in the middle of the week, and longer videos I like to do at the weekend. You don't care anyways. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. Hope some of this info was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions about how, what I did in this video about rebuilding this guy. I'm sure glad to help you guys. And um, if you're not subscribed, subscription link down here. One day I'm going to learn what corner it's going to be in. It's down here somewhere. You may subscribe. Until um, next time, guys, live well. I'm Vapon.